Darlings, do you know what day is today? <laughs> we are gonna talk about S to the E to the X mm, 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 and all the fragrances that match the occasion. <laughs> Hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel and to another video which is gonna be very sexy because we are gonna talk about the fragrances that are the best for the games that you play between the sheets and it doesn't really matter if it is your husband, long time partner or someone you just want to hook up with and don't let other people shame you for that you know sometimes life happens and as long as you do it for the right reasons which is for you and yourself only and your own pleasure then that's all good okay so don't let other people shame you because are they paying are they paying your bills exactly so yes guys today i have everything i have everything that's perfect for between the sheets or the kitchen counter whatever you prefer um let's start and before i do don't forget to subscribe if you want more sexy, weird ass content, um, then that is the channel for it. So let's start. First one I have is a very sensual one. Uh, it is very sensual, warm, slightly more mature. So I don't know if you are, you know, in your early 20s, if you're gonna really love it, but you might. It is gourmand leaning though, so you might love it. Um, this is Safanad from Mali, and this is a very sexy fragrance. Uh, by the way, guys, um, I might get uh, problems with uh, YouTube for saying S E to the X because uh, of the new policies, which are absolutely ridiculous, let's be honest. Um, you know, so many bad things are happening on the internet platforms and they want to demonetize good content creators. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, so Safanad is fantastic if you like orange blossom. This is a very warm, almost solar-like orange blossom fragrance with quite a bit of vanilla and pear. What else is in here? Ilang Ilang, of course. Uh, sandalwood and amber, hence the beautiful color because of the vanilla and amber. I adore this fragrance. It definitely does make me feel some type of way and I love putting it on when I have nothing on. <laughs> so Safarad is fantastic. Oh, this is gonna be a cheeky video. I might laugh a lot. Sorry guys. Um, next. This is the perfect one because of the name. Here we have Latin Lover from Kana. And I already ordered a full bottle. Um, so it, I think it's coming after the weekend because I'm filming this on Friday. Um, so I don't have it with me yet, but be assured that a big bottle is coming to me. And yes, I paid my own money for it. Even though I work with the brand, it doesn't matter to me, you know? If I like something and I want to have it now, I don't care. Um, so Latin Lover, I have a discount code for it. Uh, so you can use it. Not like I did, whatever. This is amazing. This is a fresher fragrance, okay? It's very clean and also is very long lasting. And I mean, come on guys, the name. Mm, if you're not, a Latin lover yourself, you probably need one. <laughs> um, so guys, obviously, it's, it's been named to make you feel a certain way, right? It, it is cheeky to begin with. And I must say the fragrance itself is perfect for those moments. Oh, it's a little bit like yellow florally and clean. Um, and sweet, very feminine fragrance. So, you know, basically you're gonna smell like you're a clean girl and a very sexy girl and a fun girl. 
that's what this fragrance will give you and also it will transport the person you're with on a tropical island in a nice resort in a clean bed that's what it will give you that's what i think it will give you yes so i love it um you know what especially if you like to be having fun during the daytime amazing amazing for that because you know some fragrances here are going to be a little bit too heavy for daytime i personally prefer daytime than nighttime believe it or not i don't know why this is just this is just how i'm made like the perfect time is the noon time weird hey anyways uh, now that you know my preferences I will tell you that I really enjoy the fragrance. Haven't um, been able to check it out yet in that setting for obvious reasons yet, uh, but I hope that I will sooner rather than later. Um, so yes, Latin Lover from Kana. As much as it is a good daytime fragrance in general, this is gonna be a perfect S to the E to the X. This is gonna be ridiculous, I'm telling you. Uh, <laughs> situation <laughs> what this is gonna be perfect for daytime games fragrance yeah you get me i hope so because i got twisted myself so let's move on from latin lover and let's switch to this one this is hypnotic poison from dior the original from 1992 my birth year whoop whoop um this is so good this is so good because for some reason it is very appealing to men um it has peach it has coconut it's very balmy almost doughy like uh, very vanillic uh, it has a lot of almonds to it it does have some licorice as well if i'm not mistaken but i don't really smell it much to me the one that i have is very long lasting i really really like it um it is quite plush and it's like a warm hug but in a very sexy way um so i think it's gonna be quite appropriate you know yeah it's not a party fragrance but it's a it's a party in your bed kind of a fragrance in my very humble opinion all right next i have of course this is such a sexy scent this is olympia the og and the og because it has the most salt out of all the other ones it also has cashmere in, so it's very suave and balmy um it is amazing and it definitely makes me feel very very sexy when i wear it so if anything it will surely empower you to be a little bit frivolous you know at least for me this is the experience that i have with her in particular uh, and that's why i love her and that's why it's probably my 10th bottle of olympia um so yeah long lasting fragrance projecting everything is fantastic here of course the previous versions were better than the current ones but what can we do this is life right um sometimes i do see the og at the airports so if you're flying somewhere check out the counters but yeah olympia fantastic for mommy and daddy time or oh. how did i just call it whatever what do we have next if you love a very sensual vanilla that is perfect for the sheets because it is closer to the skin and it's very like warm uh, it is of course Kayali Vanilla 28. To me, this is perfect for very close encounters. I love it. It is such a good, simple, simple vanilla, but done so well. Very sugary vanilla, okay? Like a burned brown sugar. That's what I love about it the most. That uh, type of sugary tones that it has. I wouldn't say it's not long lasting because it does last, but it doesn't project. So it is a perfect, um, you know, bed is your playground fragrance kind of thing. So that is Kayali. 
Now, what do I have next? Uh, of course, I really want to put this one in this video because I will get tons of comments. Why didn't you put this? So here it is because of you guys, just so I don't have to read it. <laughs> and this is Versace Crystal Noir. And this is a warm yet cold spicy fragrance. Uh, it is a little bit contradicting, but it really is. Uh, because of the spices in here, it is a colder scent, you know, it's like, it's a fresh spicy, so it's like colder. Uh, but because of the florals in here and the sandalwood, it will give you warmth as well and a coconut elf, of course. Gardenia also makes it a little bit colder. Uh, I really like it. I really like it. it there is something to that scent that um, people in general love it. And I don't know many people who don't, you know? Uh, it is very sensual, very sexy, very, um, you know, like femme fatale a little bit. I really like it for that. So also very long lasting, especially the Eau de Parfum, very long lasting. So I highly recommend this for your forbidden games. Ha ha ha. Uh, next, I have something super feminine and fluffy. If you are a good girl who still wants to play a little bit, then this one is for you. Um, this is um, what is this? Lancome La Nuit Trésor uh, Nude. Mm, as the name suggests, you have to be nude to wear it, okay? <laughs> you just have to be nude. Uh, that's when it works, it's magic. I feel like this is such a nice fragrance. I think it might be discontinued at this point, uh, but I'm sure you still can find it online. I'll link it for you. Uh, this is quite long lasting for an older toilet because it's just an older toilet, but it does last very well. And this is a rose coconut scent, rose coconut vanilla scent. Very creamy, very fluffy, uh, very feminine and quite seductive at the same time. Because of that rosy sweetness, it has some flirt to it. So I really, really like it. But again, this is for more of a good girl. Okay, I'm a good girl. Like uh, a great poet, Becky G, used to sing, Siempre soy una dama, pero soy una perra en la cama. Th this is it. Thank you. Okay, what's next? Um, Delina, another one that's more of a good girl, fresher kind of girl, clean girl for sure but there is a lot of sex appeal to the scent. A lot, a lot, a lot. So, uh, you know, think of the most beautiful woman uh, in the most beautiful silk lingerie, uh, definitely wearing white or pink. This is it, this is it. If you wanna play nice, if you wanna be an angel this time, then this is it, this is it. Um, it is long lasting but it doesn't project on me so again another reason why i feel like it's way better for close encounters than just going out on me it really doesn't project that much so i think this is going to be a perfect opportunity for you to test it and how your partner feels about this one if it projects or not when they're close to you so test it guys and tell me Tell me how it is uh, in your opinion with the projection of this fragrance, but to me, it is quite flirty and seductive. So, lovely one, I really like it. You know, no matter what, I still think it's a great scent and sexy one. So that's the Lina. Now, if you like Baccarat Rouge, but also if you like some milky, creamier undertones, I think you will love Ariana Grande Cloud Intense. Um, this is perfect uh, for, you know, kitchen counters and all those other places. 
this is so warm, so cozy, so feminine. Uh, it does give you those baccarat like whiffs, so there is some sophistication to it as well. I really love wearing this. This is my favorite um, so called jupe at the moment. Like, if you want yourself and your scent to be just so inviting, this is very inviting. Very, very inviting. Trust me, um, the boy will want to lick it off your skin. It's that good. I love it. And next, I have um, Love Don't Be Shy from Killian. This is very sweet, but I think it's also super sexy. Like, you have also Sintra from Memo, but I feel like uh, Sintra is way too green, way too harsh. This is mellow. This is gloopy. This is... When you smell it, you want to lick it. You know? This is that type of fragrance. So, I think this is a perfect time to wear it, isn't it? Uh, I personally adore Love Don't Be Shy. I always have... Um, you know, I haven't tried the extreme version. I think I might because I've started seeing it uh, coming back in stock in some places. So I might check it out. Um, so let me know if you're interested. But the original is always going to have my heart. And I feel like it also gives me that sexy vibe. Very, very sexy, seductive, flirty vibe. And yummy, very yummy as well. So this is Killian number one and I have another Killian which is first of all cheaper and second of all very unique. This is Kissing. And this is Hot Milk, Sugar and Lily of the Valley. And this doesn't, um, this doesn't, um, you know, pull out so well on paper. Don't even try. On the skin, that's where it shines. Uh, if you have tested it and you were like, oh, I don't like it on the paper, on the skin, it's, it's where it has to sit. This is so yummy. Another quite lactonic fragrance, but this one has that floral aspect and that sugary aspect. When mixed together, you know, Lily of, of the Valley can be very indolic, can be very animalic to the point that sometimes it smells like cat pee, okay? This is the truth. Um, but because it's combined with that lactonic tone and sugar, this is the best lactonic animalic floral fragrance ever. Um, in terms of uniqueness, from that whole range, this is the best one for sure. Um, so I highly recommend it. And also it's long lasting. It projects, I would say more than let's say Kayali, um, but it's still very appropriate when you're close to someone. So yeah, amazing one. And last but not least, this is animalic. Okay, this is animalic and I love it. This is, um, Absolute aphrodisiac from Inicio and as you've noticed I kind of chose even the names for the occasion Please appreciate my efforts here. Okay, because I didn't leave anything to chance in this video um, So absolute aphrodisiac uh, This is an animalic vanilla. That's how I would describe it one of my favorite vanillas for sure like no joke one of the favorite vanillas and super long lasting. It gets sweeter and sweeter as it dries down. Uh, it is very projecting, so I would say that's the one that you have to underspray a little. Mm, and other than that, just go and be happy, you know? This will give you a great memories, for sure. And that is it, my darlings. I really hope you enjoyed my cheeky little video. Let me know what is your favorite fragrance for the crazy games you might be playing. And uh, see you in my next one, I guess. That's nothing left to say. So yeah, bye. <laughs> and enjoy, just enjoy it, okay? Just promise me you'll enjoy it. Bye.